Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update, sponsored by Tax Network USA, America's number one choice for tax resolution. Please go to TNUSA.com slash bill or call 800-245-6000. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, May 30th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Luxury meals, Harvard silence, World Cup in America, and North Korean filth. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, Lending Tree did a survey. How many Americans, what percentage of Americans, believe that fast food is now a luxury? 78%. And they're really not that far off. The difference between the Trump presidency and the Biden presidency, a medium French fry from McDonald's went from 179 to 419, a McChicken from 129 to 389, and a Big Mac from 399 to 749 now. But don't worry, if the World Economic Forum and the globalists and the Democrats get their way, you'll be eating bugs anyway. Very affordable. Harvard University announced it will no longer be speaking out on political or social issues that do not impact Harvard's core function. The president of Harvard, of course, was shamed into resigning for well plagiarism ultimately, but really after a testimony in front of Congress with regards to the anti-Semitic comments that were made on campus. The university then started a institutional voice working group, which decided that they will not comment on anything that is not of Harvard University's core issues. They say doing so risks compromising the integrity and credibility of our academic mission. Very nice statement, but Don't be fooled. It will not change what's happening inside the walls of our universities. The ICC Men's T20 World Cup taking place in Nassau, Long Island. Don't worry if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't either. I've never heard of it. It's the World Cup of Cricket. 20 teams. America's in it because we're the host nation. The last World Cup in India, there were 1.2 million spectators. Now, this is in the news because first, it's in a temporary stadium in Long Island, which is pretty cool. But ISIS has threatened to attack the event, specifically the India versus Pakistan game. Officials, though, say this is the largest security operation they've ever had in Long Island. The first game, Saturday, U.S. versus Canada. North Korea has been floating up balloons, which is nice. They just happen to be carrying plastic bags of filth and garbage, which are then landing on the streets in South Korea. Just lands and makes a pile of garbage. South Korea said that their actions clearly violate international law. Dear leader, sister said, I don't know why they're making a big deal like they've been hit by a shower of fire. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next. Everything is expensive these days. You know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, because Mad Max was unavailable out promoting his new movie, the Biden administration chose Robert De Niro to frighten onlookers in front of the Trump courthouse. In short, Bobby D said that if reelected, Donald Trump would pull a Julius Caesar and never leave office. He would also destroy the planet. And perhaps the worst thing of all, he'd beat the living daylights out of young Sheldon. Well, maybe I heard the last one wrong. Anyway, the last time I saw De Niro, he was walking across a snowy Switzerland playing Frankenstein's monster. That film made more sense than Bobby's anti-Trump diatribe. The whole thing reminded me of the Scorsese movie Casino, where Bob gives Sharon Stone bundles of cash so she can buy narcotics. Then he gets mad at Sharon because 
she's a bad mom. Well, yeah. The most bizarre thing about the courthouse fiasco is that the Biden administration actually asked De Niro to do it. Why? Was one voter influenced by the bizarre exposition this week? Maybe Hunter, who liked the movie Casino very much. Some folks I know are voting for Trump just because Bobby isn't. It seems the former good fellow may now have to go into witness protection. Let's hope so. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. All right, let's go with the mail. We got Vicky. Why would Fox and the networks keep showing that De Niro idiot speech over and over? Because what else are they going to do? It's provocative. People get angry. Of course they're going to do it. DeWitt, why is De Niro at the Trump trial closing arguments? Is he filming a new movie? No, the Biden administration asked him to go. And he went because he hates Trump. Mick, uh, the judge in the trial seems biased and conflicted, and his strict instructions may lead the jury to have no choice but to convict. The jury always has a choice. The judge can't force him to do anything. But we'll know after the trial when the jury's members do interviews. We'll know. Jim Thompson, Loveland, Colorado, perhaps Obama was involved with the De Niro courthouse stunt. Come on. He wasn't, Jim. That's all I can say. Ralph, concierge member. Ralph gives a direct line to me. Um, if you've ever sat on a jury, you know that there is no jury of your peers. They all have different financial backgrounds, but they're all American citizens. That's the jury of your peers. You can't have a foreigner on there. Linda Calcaro, Marietta, California. Can the Trump attorneys bypass the lower appellate's court and appeal to the Supreme Court? No. Got to stair step through the federal system, which will happen if he's convicted. Uh, da, 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 da. Garrett Klein, Concord, North Carolina. Bill, been reading your book since I was 16, anxiously awaiting confronting the presidents. But I have to disagree that James Buchanan was a worse president. Civil war was already destined to happen. Nothing could have been done to stop it. It's not true. Not true at all. And we'll lay it out for you in confronting the presidents. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low cost month to month vehicle protection plan. That's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 218 years ago today, the future president of the United States shot and killed a man over a horse. The event added to the man's rough reputation that continued throughout his lifetime. Here is a story behind the duel of Andrew Jackson and Charles Dickinson. The beef began in 1806 when Dickinson, an attorney from Nashville, made lewd remarks about Jackson's wife, Rachel. At the time, Old Hickory had served as a justice of the Tennessee Superior Court. Dickinson then published an article accusing Jackson of cheating on a horse bet. He also labeled him, quote, a worthless scoundrel and coward. No stranger to violence. Andrew Jackson challenged the lawyer to a gun fight. On May 30th, the two men met on a farm in rural Kentucky. After pacing a few feet, 
they turned and opened fire. Dickinson's bullet struck Jackson in the middle of his chest. Old Hickory's gun misfired. In a breach of dueling etiquette, Jackson recocked his weapon, shot his opponent dead. The bullet that hit Jackson was too close to his heart to perform surgery. He carried the fragments for the rest of his life. The injury frequently caused him health problems. He often coughed up blood, a gruesome reminder of the duel. And here's something else you might not know. Historians believe Jackson was involved in many gunfights, including one with the governor of Tennessee. But documentation is scant. In my upcoming book, Confronting the Presidents, we could not nail down exactly how many duels Jackson participated in. There was a lack of reporting, and Jackson himself, in his later years, was vague. After winning the White House, Jackson's rough reputation was solidified by the Indian Removal Act, the forced relocation of 50,000 Native Americans, and the confiscation of millions of acres of their land. In total, Old Hickory forced the Indian tribes to sign 70 treaties nearly all under the threat of death. To this day, Andrew Jackson remains one of the most controversial presidents in U.S. history. Back after this. Your safety is important, and I am happy to introduce you to Berna, a self-defense solution that will help keep you and your family safe. Berna offers a powerful non-lethal pistol with tear gas, pepper irritants, and kinetic projectiles that disable attackers for 30 to 40 minutes. It's all legal in every state, and no background checks are required, and they ship directly to your door, very private. They are American-made in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and are trusted by U.S. government agencies and hundreds of police departments. If you are a gun owner, you need options. Avoid the complexities that come with taking a life and having to defend your freedom in court. And if you're adverse to firearms, Berna is a good alternative solution. So please visit Berna.com slash bill to receive a 10% discount. That's B-Y-R-N-A dot com slash bill. Stay safe with Berna. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. (laughs) 